Who said goats don't like rain? What's going on y'all? It's Nick and Tyler with Bear Family Farms. We're out here checking on some of these uh, dolings. It's been raining probably, I don't know, we just had a good part of the week, yeah. on and off. Not too sure how much rainfall has fallen, but enough to uh, have to put the vehicles in four wheel drive and uh, sink and slip when you get out of the truck. So pretty good amount of rain coming, coming down and everybody's wet and out and Moving around, you can see the dogs here. They're about to get shocked by this uh, high tensile wire. Uh, there's high tensile wire we put up probably about a year ago. I don't know if you guys remember that video we put out, but uh, it's doing really well. I'm very happy with it. We're definitely gonna build a lot more of it. It's a lot cheaper than putting out woven wire. And then over here on this side, we have uh, the electric fence, the electric netting, I guess. Uh, we might throw the sheep over there, the sheep and the dolings over there sometime soon once this rain stops but we got a good break of the rain and we thought we'd come check them out or check on them throw them a little bit of hay get something warm in their bellies because we're expected to have another half inch or so in the next 24 hours according to the weather app so and they've got everything pretty much down in this area so there's not much left for them to eat uh, we've got to get a move but it's one of those things you you kind of do in context uh, we'd love to move them but sometimes we just we don't have the time to do or the resources or weather's not permitting or manpower or, or whatever so sometimes they got to stay in a pasture a little bit longer than we want them to but uh instances like that is why we have these little square bells and yeah, yeah i would say that uh that fence is pretty hot because uh he just got about 10,000 kilovolts straight on his nose. And wet. And he's wet. So I can only imagine what that felt. The dog worm is like, I done told you, young man, not touch that. Well, uh, yeah. For today. There's the, uh, <laughs> there's the, the high tensile Actually, wire. We'll respect it next time. The high tensile wire uh, in action. Yeah. The, uh, the goats get shocked and usually it takes that one time. We keep it pretty hot for that exact reason because looking at it, they think they can go right through it and then uh, they learn otherwise. Yes, so, and that's actually another reason why we have these dolings in here. Yeah, they were born in, in electric netting and uh, they some of them have seen this high tensile wire, but the sheep are all new to our property. So they have never seen an electric fence in their life. So they've gotten exposed to electric netting up in the front pasture over there and now they're getting exposed to this high tensile wire stuff so that's going to be good when uh, the spring and summer rotations get here but uh with the weather how it's been and you know the conditions that these uh these dolings are in is these nanny kids they're looking looking pretty good she's not looking very good she's just wet leave her alone Yeah, that uh, that llama there, we got her. We got her from the Waco area, and we're helping uh, pick her up. Her body condition wasn't in the greatest uh, shape, so we've been trying to get some weight on her, giving her a little bit of feed, and she's been in here with Bobo. There, buddy. His Bobo was still nursing. Yes. Over a year old, so he got separated from his mother, and now hopefully he'll be weaned next time you see her instead of trying to nurse her. Hopefully she's dried up by then. Like I said, we got the sheep in here. There is uh, some of Tyler's dwarfs in here, I think. Like Jelly beans in here and Almond, Almond enjoy her uh, 
La Mancha Cross Pets. La Mancha Cross Pets. As you can hear, our charging system for this uh, high tensile wire fence, uh, it's been standing up to the weather pretty good. All we've got is a, what is that? A 50 watt solar panel on there. And then we've got a battery inside. Uh, I've had multiple videos on this. I'll put the link in the comments below on how we actually build this. But I just wanted to show you guys that it has been doing really well in the elements. It stood up very well when it was negative seven or ne however much it got down to for those three days, it stayed hot. I have had it stay hot in snow times, wet weather. Right now it's doing great. So I know a lot of people ask the question on how electric fence will hold up in different types of elements. And as long as you keep it on and you keep it hot, anything that's growing uh, up will get killed out as soon as it touches and as long as it's hot enough. And even in the cold weather, it, it's, it's, hold, it's held up pretty well. That battery, that whole setup has been on there ever since we put this system up. So I would say it uh, is very efficient, very effective and cost effective and but all these girls look like drowned rats they've been getting rained on they don't have shelter they just have the shelter of the trees we've been burning a lot of uh brush piles in this pasture trying to regain some of the area to get growth uh forage for them in the spring so we've been burning a lot back over there we've got a big pile here back up over there there's a bunch of piles there's a big pile here obviously we got to come back in here Kind of like how we did over there you can kind of see everywhere that we burned and it's coming up great so lots of work to go i just like i said i just wanted to take a quick look at that charging system and show you guys that no matter the weather or the conditions as long as you put it together right and you keep it hot you won't have any issues Nick, honk! Honk! Hey, girls! Hey, girl! Come on! Hey, girls! <laughs>